Welcome, everybody. And before I start, I want to say one thing. <laughs> Kyle is the luckiest man on the face of the earth. <laughs> Good afternoon, family and friends. We have come here today to witness and celebrate the union of Melissa Nicole Muckle and Kyle Daniel Eisenman. In marriage, the two people turn to each other in search of greater fulfillment than either can achieve alone. Marriage is a bold step taken together into an unknown future. It is risking who you are for the sake of who you can be. The night we met was unexpected, and after our first date, one thing was clear. We were both way too busy for a relationship. <laughs> Nothing was really gonna work out. Yet somehow we managed to spend every night that week together and almost every weekend since. And despite all of the challenges that we went through, airports, <laughs> car rides, we made it through it all and I'm so happy to be here with you today. And today. <laughs> You're better. You're better. You're better. And today I vow to you to spend the rest of my life showing you how much I love and cherish you. I promise to appreciate you, appreciate you for who you are and support you for who you wish to become. I vow to listen to your needs and to communicate when words are necessary and share in the silence when they're not. <laughs> I know that at times in life we will be challenged, but I'm committed to facing these challenges together. You taught me that a real relationship is about give and take, and I promise to sacrifice for you and our family so that we, mo so that we may both accomplish all the things in life that we set out to achieve. <laughs> I vow to recognize this day and every day how lucky I am to have you in my life. Every day you inspire me and you challenge me to be a better person and I am a better person today because I have you in my life. I can't wait to see what the rest of our life has in store for us. I'm so happy to have you by my side to go through it all. I promise all this and all my love to you forever. She has beautiful eyes. Did you ever notice that? <laughs> Melissa, my love, you'll often hear people say that marriage is a journey. In truth, our journey began long before today. You see, you and I have been on this journey from the moment I saw you sitting in my seat at a bar four and a half years ago. That journey began that very moment when I first looked into your eyes and felt completely vulnerable. Since then, however, our relationship has been anything but convenient. We spent the first two years saying goodbye to each other, living for the next time we'd get to see each other. Long flights, delays, Arkansas. <laughs> None of it was easy. But after two long years apart, you finally came home. And I knew I could never let you go again, at least not without me by your side. Melissa, you are the only person in this world for me, and I promise to love you in good times and bad for the rest of my life, each day more than the last. I promise to always believe in you and to support you in your efforts to find happiness in all things. I promise to be honest with you, to share my feelings, whether positive or negative, <laughs> and as painful as it may be to an introvert like me. And I promise to you that for the rest of my life, I will care for you, I will sacrifice for you, and I will remind you each and every day through my words and my actions just how lucky I am to have you in my life as my one and only love and now as my wife. I'll hold it. <laughs> I can hold it. Kyle, I give to you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I take you to be my husband this day and every day. I will. <laughs> Melissa, I give to you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. 
as this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I take you to be my wife this day and every day. I'm really involved in this wedding. <laughs> Melissa and Kyle, again in the presence of your family and friends, who are here with you to share this moment of joy, you have each declared your unbending love and affection for one another. It is my honor to declare you husband and wife. Now kiss her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly a privilege to in introduce to all of you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Melissa Eisenman.
money don't really feel like I do And from the ground I built my own damn buzz People was amazed I was still in high school But now I'm out And money what I'm about Trying to get so much that I can't keep count You know, some of my fondest memories are just and I was fortunate because I was able to spend a lot of time with her when she was little because of my work schedule. But some of my fondest memories when she was a baby, would just lay on the couch watching TV and she would fall asleep on my chest and you know, just lay there for hours, sound asleep. Um, and then when she got a little older, um, we, <laughs> don't start. <laughs> Playing, playing games, playing Monster and Power Rangers, and I think we still have those Power Ranger gloves somewhere. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you really? Oh, nice. Oh, we should have played. <laughs> but um, you know, one of my favorite stories, and Melissa knows this one, and and I'm sure several people in this room have heard this before, but. We were out at dinner one night at a place called Ribbit. Um, and Melissa couldn't have been more than two and a half, I'm thinking. And they give the kids these little plastic jumping frogs. You click on their tails and they jump. But Melissa was using it to drink her soda with. <laughs> and of course, she was making a huge mess. So me being the father, I said, Melissa, stop doing that. And she just looked at me holding the frog and you remember what you said? What's the matter, Dave? Are you just mad because you don't have a froggy too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I figured right, right then if, uh, if a two-year-old's talking to me that way, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> but it, it, it shows that, you know, I mean, Melissa really has always been mature beyond her years. Um, she's been, always been extremely hardworking and dedicated to whatever goal she wants to achieve, whether it's finishing her gymnastics program and graduating as a senior so she can tell her coach off at the end, <laughs> which she never actually told the coach off. She did, she did graduate, but. Um, and she really likes being in charge, as Ryan and Rachel could easily tell you having every Christmas to line up their Christmas presents in order of size before they start opening them. <laughs> but, you know, it's, I think it goes without saying that, you know, I'm very proud with Melissa and love her more than she could ever know. But beyond that, um, I'm very impressed with what she's achieved in her life so far and more than that, with the person that she's become. I could not be prouder of her today on, on this day and what she's accomplished and who she is. And, you know, the, a couple weeks ago at Ryan's graduation, we were uh, talking about the day Rachel broke her arm. And, and Melissa was very quick to point out that Rachel broke her arm two days before Melissa's prom. <laughs> she ruined the pictures. And, and we were all, we were all, we're driving down the road and we're all kind of like looking at each other, like what does this have to do with the story? <laughs> so pretty much everybody in the car turned to Melissa and said, look, it's not always about you. <laughs> but today, it is all about you. But that's not exactly true. Because we certainly wouldn't be here if it weren't for Kyle. Yes. <laughs> and I would like to take a few minutes to talk about Kyle because I know one thing about Kyle. He loves nothing more than being the center of attention. <laughs> now, when we went up to Toronto for the bachelor weekend, yeah, you heard that? Did you hear that collective uh-oh over there? Like, like Creed just broke out in a flop sweat. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, where I'm going with this is John Oberlies was asking me 
a lot of really serious and earnest questions. It's like, what, what was your first impression of Kyle? How do you feel about Kyle marrying your daughter? <laughs> and, and I thought to myself, who brought their wife? <laughs> I, I thought this was just going to be guys. Like, and, and, but then I thought, well, maybe it's, maybe it's just the pain meds and the alcohol. It's, <laughs> but no, he, he started it again yesterday. So I, I guess it's just how he is. But, but if you know me, you know John didn't get a straight answer. Um, I told him my first impression of Kyle was, he's really tall. <laughs> and, and he really is. He's, right? Six foot four? That's tall. But more than that, he, was, he seemed poised, he seemed confident and polite. But most importantly, Melissa seemed very happy with him that night. And it is all about Melissa. <laughs> I know that. That's why we're here. My, my concerns, though, were that Kyle was very, very obsessed with sports <laughs> and with working out. But what I couldn't have foreseen was that Melissa would take to working out like she has because I, she hated working out. She hated... <laughs> really almost hated everything about gymnastics. And I don't know why she did it, but, but I, if you had told me before Melissa met Kyle that she would do a Tough Mudder, I would have said you were insane. <laughs> but, but she did it. And, um, and over time, it seemed to me that Kyle became a little bit less obsessed with sports a little bit, but, well, let's just say this. Kyle missed a Flyers playoff game this year to attend Rachel's graduation. But, but, in full disclosure, he and Ryan were both tracking the game on their phones the whole time. <laughs> By the way, how'd that work out? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got crushed. <laughs> and, and Kyle has really adapted to the role of big brother very well for being an only child. He attended both Ryan and Rachel's graduation, traveling, I'm estimating, about 1,300 miles in two months. <laughs> and in addition, he's, uh, he gives as good as he gets in family game nights. Very impressive, I have to say. <laughs> but obviously, and you heard in their vows about the travel, the traveling to these graduations was nothing compared to what they did. And believe me, they can tell you, and now Rachel can tell you, it is not easy to get in or out of Arkansas. <laughs> but they did it for two years, and they stuck through it, and it's a huge testament to their love and commitment to each other. And the funny thing is, when I moved Melissa to Kansas City, that first night we were in Kansas City, we were out, went out, had dinner, we were drinking, we went to this Irish bar, beautiful little pub with a nice rooftop view of the city, and we were drinking and talking, and um, I knew that night that Kyle was the guy. And I called Colleen, and I said, Melissa and I talked for a long time last night, and I said, Kyle's the one. And you know what mom said? You remember what you said? <laughs> oh, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> so I would just like to say, almost 28 years of marriage, I was right. Thank you. And last, the, there's always once, that's right. And that's fine. I can live with that. But um, last thing I'd like to say, there's a, there's a song that I, I'm not sure why, but every time I hear it, I think of Melissa. And um, I'd just like to leave you guys with a verse of that song 
in the way of a blessing. And <laughs> I have to make sure I can remember this. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> it is when you finally fly away. <laughs> Wait. Um, crap. No, no, I don't need a tissue. I need to think. I'll be, oh. And when you finally fly away, I'll be hoping that I served you well. For all the wisdom of a lifetime, no one can ever tell. But whatever road you choose, I'm right behind you, win or lose. I love you guys. Congratulations. Salute. <laughs> Like the DJ said, I'm the younger sister of the beautiful bride who is sitting here today. And when we were growing up, Melissa had just a few years on my brother and me, which meant, as my dad pointed out, that she was always in charge. <laughs> so much so that every Christmas, we would have to sleep in her room. And in the morning, we had to wait for her to go down and check out all the presents before we could go down. She'd come back up and report to us. <laughs> And I like to think that over the years, her control has lessened. But while helping her plan this wedding, I realize that not much has actually changed. <laughs> but with that being said, I couldn't ask for a better sister. Melissa has done such amazing things in her life, like going to college, studying abroad, having incredible success in her first job, and finding the love of her life. I couldn't ask for a better role model. Kyle is a welcome addition to the family and has already shared in some pretty classic moments. <laughs> yes. And he is a perfect match for my only sister. He can always put a smile on Melissa's face no matter what situation, which I assure you is not an easy task. <laughs> and the playful banner they share between each other just shows how much they enjoy being together. From them, I have learned what true love and dedication really means. So I just want to give a toast to Melissa and Kyle and ha hope they have continued years full of love and happiness. Aww. I don't know. Thank you to all our guests for joining us tonight to celebrate in the happiest of couples. I especially want to thank the parents of our bride and groom, Colleen and Dave Muckle, and Che and Big Rich Eisenman, for making tonight possible by raising two unbelievable individuals. This one's for you, cheers. <laughs> 21 years ago, a lanky, buck-tooth, stubborn only child stepped into the batter's box at St. Alphonsus with high hopes. Steerack one! His proud mother offered words of encouragement behind the, the cage. Steerack two! His father, now as anxious as child, frantically made loud noises about the child's footwork. Doctor, you're out! It was T-ball, by the way. Don't let the details get in the way of a good story. Kyle's footwork was horrible. This isn't part of the speech, Dave, but this is how Kyle used to swing. <laughs> Hence, Big Rich, God, the footwork! <laughs> Shay going, just swing, Kyle! I love you, I love you, Cubbies! <laughs> this is my very first memory of Kai, Shay, and Rich Eisenman. The threesome that would become my best friend, my second mom, and my biggest supporter. <laughs> As adolescents, Kai and I were a pretty damn good team. I was the cocky point guard and midfielder. He was the goofy goalie and center. I looked up to him literally, physically. He looked up to me mentally and psychologically. <laughs> I was smooth with the ladies. He was tight with a cocker spaniel named Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> Kyle's, Kyle's Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> I need a minute.
it was years of this cadence. <laughs> but regardless of the playing surface, the school we attended, or the stage of life we were in, Kyle always personifies family, loyalty, and trust. It's been these traits that have kept he and I so close, even at times from afar, for 21 freaking years. Today, Kyle officially offers those lifelong values to the newest member of the family, Melissa Eisman. I'm calling you me for now. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting it for the speech. We had a little debate about this earlier, but again, don't get in the way of details. <sighs> Who is just as intelligent, beautiful, and driven as she was the first day I met her at the St. Joe's Career Fair in 2008. <laughs> Not hard to imagine Melissa work in the room at a career fair, huh? Melissa's. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, on behalf of all the groomsmen, thank you. Thank you for being so tipsy the night you and Kyle met at Kildera's. <laughs> oh wait, it gets better. You saw right past his tight, fluorescent Nike dry fit outfit. his pathetic Huskies posing cell phone background, <laughs> his personal round-by-round round boxing scorecard. 10-9, I had it at 10-8, 10-7. I scored it at 10-9, I don't know what he's talking about. And the stench of his protein shake farts. <laughs> if it weren't for you, Melissa, Kyle would still be telling prospective ladies he rejected the school they graduated from. I rejected that school. That, Mark, that was like classic Kai. I rejected that school, he told a girl. Good luck, Kai. Truthfully though, Melissa, your ability to see the good in people is a testament to who you are as a person and how you were raised by your parents. Over the last few years, you've undoubtedly influenced Kyle in a positive way. So much so, I started calling him New Kai. This is Yes, new Kyle still has his annoying lists and regiments. But Melissa, your influence on Kyle has um, loosened him up, allowed him to see the big picture, and live more in the moment. If some of you are like, I'm not convinced, <laughs> he's still pain in the ass. I ask this, would the old Kyle before Melissa have submitted his resignation papers, packed up and moved across the country to California without having every facet of his future <laughs> locked down in a spreadsheet? <laughs> the answer is no, and the reason is the woman seated next to him embodies the exact same core values as him, family, loyalty, and trust. <laughs> Tonight, I am honored with best man, but Melissa, thank you for making my best friend a better man. Oh, wow. <laughs> to you both, it's been a joy to watch you fall in love. As life takes you on its crazy path and journey, remember what brought all of us here tonight, and I promise you many, many more happy years to come. In the words of Big Rich, I got nothing but love for you. <laughs> Let's toast this happy couple! Here, here, Turns the other way. I 
will not take my love away. I will not leave you all alone. When striving leads you far from home, there's no yield for what you sown. I will give you what 